All right, fight fans, there was a light heavyweight fight last night that I did not catch live, but I just caught it this afternoon. He later Alvarez against Michael Seals. Uh, let me start out by saying I got this wrong. I actually picked Michael Seals in this fight. Uh, I thought that his, uh, excuse me, his, re his height and his reach and the fact that he last fought, uh, I think, three or four months ago, uh, would be enough to overcome uh, Alvarez, who has not fought in about a year. And if I remember, he's coming off of an Achilles injury. I think they were seeing that in the fight. I knew he had some type of injury after the Kovalev fight. Well, to be very honest with you, I don't know if it was because I was a little tired when I watched it this afternoon, but uh, I actually was not entertained by this fight. There was a uh, way too much holding, way too much staring, uh, not not enough action at all. Uh, Michael Seals did not do uh, what I thought what I thought he would do. Uh, I thought that he would use more activity, do, uh, all due to the fact that he fought recently, and he later Alvarez has not yet. Instead, he was uh, just standing right in front of him, putting a lot of weight on that back foot. And I think uh, Timothy Bradley or one of the commentators was saying that uh, he caught himself doing kind of like a, a shoulder roll. You know, a Mayweather type shoulder roll. Well, it wasn't working uh, if that's what he was doing. Uh, he still got hit with a couple of uh, right hands. One of them, maybe I think it was the third round, he got hit with flush. Uh, and that kind of, I kind of thought after seeing that that he wasn't going to win that fight. Not only that, he was pulling straight back. I mean, there was. There was just not a lot of uh, upper body movement and a lot of foot movement at all by Michael Seals. It seemed like what he wanted to do was stand in the pocket, trade, and hope that he would have caught Alvarez with something and knocked him out. Not to mention, uh, he was holding that left hand way too low, which uh, is inviting uh, Alvarez to throw the right hand, which is exactly what happened at the end of that seventh round. They got into a little exchange. That left hand was still down by his uh, waist, and he looked like he was trying to throw his own right hand, but he later Alvarez's right hand just got there quicker, right on the chin. Bam, he he was down. Uh, and I don't know what he was so upset about when he got up. I mean, he, he was out. I mean, you know, it was... You know, even if he somehow could have made it to his feet, if the referee counted to 15, uh, he still would have been hurt. All in all, uh, it wasn't a very impressive fight. Uh, too slow, uh, like a too slow uh, for me. Not enough, not enough action, no punching, way too much uh, holding and way too much staring for me. But I just want to be, make sure that I got it in because I missed the fights last week. Clarissa Shields, I didn't see that fight until two, three days later. So I didn't do a video on it. Uh, this one, I caught Sunday afternoon. I didn't catch it live, but I just wanted to give some quick thoughts on it. Uh, holla at me, man, and give me uh, y'all thoughts on it. Maybe some of you were entertained. Maybe some of you saw something or, or maybe some of you saw something or liked something in the fight that maybe I might have uh, missed on. But pretty much that's it. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on YouTube. Give me your thoughts on the fight. That's all I got. I'll let y'all later.